So you've probably heard that you have two blind spots, one in each eye. And this is true. Say this is what your left eye sees. It's a little bit angled because your nose is getting in the way. And this is the center of your vision. There's a spot right about here where you don't get any information from the outside world. Your eye is just blind there. Now luckily, your right eye's visual field does overlap at that point, and vice versa with your left eye. So if both of your eyes are open, usually your brain can just cross-reference and figure out what's missing. But if you close one of your eyes, your brain is essentially forced to make up information for this spot here, where nothing's coming in. And it's pretty good at that, but if there's something entirely contained in that area, and there's no, no clue that there's anything going through it, your brain won't see anything at all. And if you haven't done this yet, you can try it like this. You're going to close your right eye, and you're going to stare at this cross with your left eye. This will be your target. Now, if you get yourself the right distance from the screen, just go towards and away from the screen slowly while focusing on this cross, suddenly this target here will disappear at a certain point. And that's the point where it perfectly coincides with your blind spot. So go ahead and try that. Here. And you can do the same effect by just closing your left eye and looking at your right eye over here, and this will now disappear at the right distance. So why do we have blind spots? The answer lies in the structure of your eye. Inside of your eye, there's a layer of photosensitive cells that you can essentially think of as the film. They respond to incoming light and give out signals which allow you to see. They communicate with several layers of neurons that begin to process this information, and the information is then sent out to the brain through the optic nerve. Now, also back there is a bunch of vasculature, a bunch of little capillaries and blood vessels that are feeding these cells to keep them alive. So if you were designing this system, you'd probably expect light to come in from this direction, since that would make the film out front, this stuff wouldn't be in the way, and this could go to the brain. But in the vertebrate eye, this is actually the back, and incoming light actually comes from this direction. Due to this, there's two problems that arise. First of all, the information at this end, which has been processed by the layers of neurons, has to get to the brain. But since this is the back of the eye, the brain is actually back here. So in order to get to the brain, this information has to go through, essentially, the film. And what happens is there's just a spot on the film where all of the information goes through. And that's called the optic disc, and this is called the optic nerve. And also, that is where all of the blood vessels come through. So basically, there's just a hole where all the wiring comes through so it can get to the other side. And that is why you have a blind spot. Now, the other problem that I mentioned is that although these layers of neurons here are essentially transparent, the blood inside the blood vessels here is not and it actually casts a bunch of little shadows that interrupt the image. It's these shadows on the retina and the fact that we can't see them that's the subject of this video. But first I'm just going to mention that we don't actually know why the retina seems backwards the way it is. Um, there might be some advantage to having it this way, but we know for a fact that it's not impossible for it to work the way we would expect it to work, which is with the photosensitive ones out front and everything else in the back. In fact, cephalopods, that's squids and octopi, have that arrangement in their eyes, and so they don't have a blind spot. So going back to this network of crazy shadows that you should theoretically see everywhere you look, why don't you see them anywhere? The reason is sensory adaptation. And this is kind of the same process that causes you to forget you're wearing your wristwatch, or to stop hearing the refrigerator humming after a while. Whenever the brain receives the same information for a long period of time, it basically stops processing it. So since this network of shadows is pretty much always on the same exact spot, since light is always coming from the front of your eye, your brain just doesn't see it anymore. You literally don't have signals about those shadows going to your brain, and therefore they're invisible to you. But that being said, you would then expect that if you look at anything that's not moving for long enough, you would just stop seeing altogether. So why doesn't that happen? The reason for that is that your eye is never truly still. So even when you're staring at something, like this pen, for a really